suppose we can have a look at some birds. Oh, listen, no, hang on, we're gonna have a listening game drive today. Oh, it's got a frog. That hummer cop on the left has got a frog. What have you? So I'm looking at the monitor so I can now try and figure out. That is a big, big amphibian that you got yourself there. I wonder if that's not a crowned bullfrog. I've been wanting to see one. I looked at pictures of them the other day. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. I'm absolutely loving life at the moment. I had the best sleep I've ever had in my, for a long time. Last night I slept for a solid six hours and didn't wake up once, which is huge news. And now we've got a hummer corp trying to eat, I think it is a crowned bullfrog. That's very big. I don't know if it's going to be able to swallow that. Yes, you've bitten off a bit more than you can chew. Sometimes what, what the, I can't, I'm actually just sitting here going, I can't believe this. This is unbelievable. I'm blown away over the last few days. Uh, what you will see herons doing, and hummocops will do the same thing, or any birds that feed on fish and amphibious creatures, is they often dip it in water to try and lubricate it slightly. I don't think, though, uh, dipping this thing in water is going to help at all. I'll be very impressed if it's able to swallow it. And now the problem with not having talons, like we saw with the Marshall Eagle yesterday, is that you can't really grip it and sort of tear chunks off. But also their beak is not designed for that. Their beak is designed, at, well, to just sort of grab their prey and then they swallow it whole. Oh my goodness. Sort of pecking it and then obviously trying to crush the bones and make it a little bit more on the nimble side. Consulting detective, you've uh, well proclaimed your love for hummer corps. You said you find them very interesting. They are beautiful birds, um, not just to look at, but of course, just everything about them is, is very much on the interesting side. Especially, of course, their nesting habits, making some of the largest nests out there. That's a big amphibian. Now this will be some cool screenshots. Maybe if you can, try and grab a screen, uh, screenshot of this um, amphibian that it's feeding on. I, I, I do think that it is a bullfrog, a crown bullfrog, but you can check me. You can pop it into the interweb and have a look. Pro cat mama, every time I hear your name, I, I have to say it like that. I do, I do apologize. You're wondering if any of these frogs and toads that we're seeing are, are poisonous. Uh, some of them will. Most of them have, and particularly the toads, have got um, uh, little glands on the side of their their heads called parotid glands, and they actually secrete um, bufotoxins. And so you, normally, if you your dog has eaten one and they sort of foam uh, foaming around the mouth, uh, that's that will be the bufotoxin. That's too, you're going to choke on that. And uh, to us, it won't be deadly, the ones that we have in this area. Although I don't know if we get banded rubber frogs. Banded rubber frogs are exceptionally uh, toxic. You don't want to touch them. But a crowned bullfrog, if it is the one that I think it is, uh, won't, have, won't worry us at all. And obviously the bird doesn't mind it either. Uh, otherwise it wouldn't be feasting upon it. But remember, uh, what might be poisonous to you and I will probably isn't poisonous to a, a bird or an impala or an elephant just because their digestive systems are completely different. But uh, yes, frogs do have chemical defense to try and protect themselves. They do a number of different things to try and protect themselves. So another thing that they will do, is that its tongue that's sticking out or is it sadly is its guts coming out now? It wouldn't surprise me if it was. It is being hammered by that hummer corp, which I suppose describes the, the bird very well. Um, goodness gracious. If it keeps pecking in like that, it might just be able to pull it apart. And you can hear a couple of the others sort of chirping in the background, all the other frogs. So what they will do, what I wanted to tell you, is often before or, or just as a bird or something is capturing a frog uh, or a toad, you'll normally hear them doing a, a release call. So it's sort of a high-pitched sort of scream to try and give uh, to try and give the animal a bit of a fright and then, you know, get a chance to get away. Even hear a Birchall's, not a Birchall's kukul, white browed kukul calling in the distance. Their call sounds so similar. Going back, dipping it in the water. I'll be so impressed if this hammercorp is able to swallow that thing whole. It's put, it's put in some serious effort 
was using a lot of energy, uh, you know, pecking away at it, constantly moving it around. Very interesting technique that it's got going on. <laughs> I believe a lot of you are saying don't play with your food. Oh, I suppose, but it, I suppose it, to you and I it does look like it is playing and we probably um, smack the hands of the toddlers, you know, sort of tap their fingers and say, hey, no, no, use your knife and fork. No messing around over here. But it's important that this bird does it. Like I said, I think it's trying to break, uh, sort of break up the bones so that it is a little bit on the more flexible side. And then hopefully it will be able to mold it in a shape that will be able to fit it down its throat. It doesn't have a... Oh, no, here it goes again. He's going to try. You need to be a pelican to eat this one. I'm also just making sure that there are any cars coming by. No, thank goodness, because I don't want to have to move out of the way for the sighting. It's very special. I wonder what it was thinking, though, going for something so large. Oh, there we go. It's got a bit more down now. You see there? So that, that, uh, that pecking is obviously helping. It's, it is, like I said, it's making it more pliable. Are you going to give up? No. Very persistent. Birds, mostly animals out here, are persistent. I mean, if it gets that right and it's not able to swallow it whole, it's not going to have to eat for a while. That's a big meal. That's like you and I having a kilogram T-bone steak with all the sides. I mean, you're super full after that. I just love the sounds that we're hearing at the moment. I think this is the biggest prey species I've ever seen a hummerquark trying to swallow. I mean, I've seen them catching lots of fish and, and much smaller frogs, but not this large. Now, King Quad, you're wondering if that frog would kill the bird during digestion? I think that's what it was. If it can swallow it, it'll be fine. But there's always that possibility that... Um, I just want to flash this car that's coming. Please don't chase my frog away. Please don't chase it away. They're gonna get, it's going to get chased away. Um, if it can swallow it, it'll be all right. There is always that possibility that it does get wedged in, in its throat and that, unfortunately, um, it... It, it, it will just choke, but I don't know how common it is. I think it might just, it's trying to move its meal away from the side of the road. Hopefully this vehicle realizes what we're looking at because it's a very, very special sighting. No, completely oblivious. Well, well, I'm glad that we got to see it, but there it is, still munching away on that road. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There it is, so it's still got it. It's slowly starting to swallow it. Well, they just missed a great sighting now, didn't they? Aren't you lucky you've got me as your guard? Ha, 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 sorry, that was nasty. <laughs> I'm all for the smaller things. I will sit and wait for the entire day until we see the outcome of the Hummer Corp versus the Bullfrog. Can you imagine, though, what that must feel like, trying to desperately try to swallow something so large? I don't think it's possible. Where are you going? Kevin, you're wondering if I said how, if I ever mentioned how that Hamakop actually killed the frog. No, I didn't. I didn't indeed. Um, so, so obviously it depends on the, the type of beak that a bird has uh, in order how it kills its prey. So what the raptors will do, those have got sharp curves on the end of their bill that's for tearing flesh though. They don't necessarily kill their prey with their beak. They can, um, but what a lot of them will do is actually just fly down and use force and hit their prey with their body. And then if it's not dead, um, that sharp curve on the end of the bill, did it eat it? No, put it down. My goodness, I thought I just, I blinked. <laughs> I, I missed it. Um, and, um, and, then, and then basically they can bite the back of the hair or they crush the skull with the talons. There's a number of different things. Kingfishers have got a very sharp beak, which they spear through their, their prey, so through the fish. Herons will do a very much a, a, a similar thing. Um, Hummercorp, uh, every time I've ever seen them, and I've told you the story before about how I watched a, 
hammer caught fish for hours and hours and basically they'd put these concrete tubes underneath the ground to allow the river to still pass so there was a bit of a, a bridge over the top um, and the fish would then funnel through that and this hammer corp had worked it out that it's actually quite easy just to sit and wait for the little fish to come down and was just grabbing them so I think what would have happened probably would have not quite stalked I think stalked is the wrong word but got as close as it could uh, to that frog and then just sort of striked at it and grabbed it and then maybe dropping it and repetitively beating it as we've just seen is the way that it would have taken it down I'm gonna go up a not it's left it this is it was this one here hey? so, yes. it's but thirsty I'm just gonna, I'm gonna duck down so you can see I wonder if it's given up it's come down for a bit of a drink now like I said it, it's using a lot of energy trying to swallow this frog Now, Fern, a good question from you, seeing as though we've seen this hammercorp walk away, wondering if it will leave it for later, uh, if it can't eat it now. No, I don't think so. I think it will eventually make the decision either to abandon it completely, if it's too big. Yeah, it looks like it here. I don't think it's going back. Maybe another hammercorp will try. If it finds it, stumbles across it, will try and give it a bash and see if it can swallow it. But I think that that's far too large, and it actually looks like the hammercorp has given up now and having a drink maybe looking for something slightly smaller and and the way that they walk on the edge of the the water like that is very good because that's where the frogs are sitting and just from experience whenever you walk past a puddle you normally see them leaping into the puddle so hanging around on those muddy sections that's where they're quite camouflage it's still nice and cool their skin's absorbing um all the moisture uh, but then also being able to be out of the water in case you want to look for something to eat. No, it has, so, there we go. This Hummer Corp has abandoned its big kill. It's, but again, not wasting any time, jumping straight back into it and looking for something a bit smaller. Oh, oh no, is that it? What's that? Was that the frog? Pecking at something. I don't know what that was that it just pecked at. Maybe it's caught a couple of these really, really large bullfrogs and has just gone, oh, well, I can't eat them. That would have been amazing to see because you all know how much I love amphibians and how I love watching the African bullfrogs fight uh, and all the males battle over females and watching them mate uh, back in the Sabi sand. It would have been really nice to have added uh, crowned bullfrogs to the list uh, and, and say that we could have seen them battling about. Still searching. It's Jamie. Hi. Oh no, you can go. They, it's it's, it's a. Oh, Jamie's so kind. Look, Jamie's so kind. It's abandoned. The Hummer Corp has now abandoned its frog. Hi, Jamie. It's so nice to see you again. Hi, Craigie. Cutthroat Craig. You can't say things like that to Craig though, because Craig's cutthroat Craig. There we go. Hi, everyone let them go past how cool was that though that was a pretty amazing sighting i think so i definitely have not seen something like that for a very very long time like i said that's the largest prey species i've ever seen a hummer corp take down before where are you off to madam you're trying to find an elephant right there's miss patterson coming to sit in the show you like a lion now Wonderful. Okay, well, I'm going to have a quick chat to Jamie. Perhaps we can try and find elephants together. Byron is, I'm not sure what Byron's doing. He was at Chitwa Dam. Let's go and find out what is the biggest prey species he's seen Hummercorp catch.